Welcome, my name is Jacob. If you enjoy this video, please hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you can hit that red subscription button. If you'd like to donate, there's also a PayPal link in the description below. Uh, I've been having some challenges with sounds around me, so I think today's practices is going to be about integrating sounds and distractions into your practice. Because not all of us have that luxury to completely isolate from any other external influences. So that being said, let's sit up nice and tall, close the eyes, and become aware of our surroundings. I'm hearing birds and hammering, dogs in the distance, and I'm becoming aware of them, feeling the breeze, feeling the temperature of your skin in the room that you're practicing, and become conscious of your breath now. When we do this, it encourages a deeper breath. We're filling our belly and lungs with our inhales. And long exhales. If you're in an urban area and perhaps you hear sirens or buses, this can also be good reminders to breathe. Maybe it's like me, it's weed whackers and hammers. Allow the breath to be long. Releasing tension of the body, shedding layers of tension, like you're peeling an onion. As I hear the hawk in the sky, it reminds me to soar the breath up. Till the top of the lungs. And long, long exhales. Bring your hands to prayer. You can keep your eyes closed. And I am thankful, a little gratitude. I am thankful for having you here to practice with me today, to be existing, to experience whatever we're experiencing. Long inhale and exhale. Slowly open the eyes. Weaving the fingers. Let's do some circles with our wrists. So even though I may not mention it in practice, breath is imperative throughout practice. Long inhales, exhales. And again, those distractions, the external, whenever you find your mind outside of feeling the body or with me, then use that as a, hey, where is my attention? And come back to the breath. Long inhales, long exhales. So we're doing circles. Check out, check out what your hands are doing and see if we can reverse the direction. And that might be really challenging you to, for you to figure out. And that's good. It's good to have challenges. We're opening the hands. Stretch those fingers. Stretch them out. And exhale, making fists include the thumb. Let's do that a few times. So we're stretching, big inhale, stretch the fingers. And exhale, making fists. Inhale, stretch it out, stretch the fingers. And exhale, making fists. Make a tight fist. Inhale, stretch the fingers as an active stretch. And exhale, making fists. Let's do two more. Stretch the fingers. And a, I'm making that fist. Inhale, stretch the fingers. And making fists. I want you to stretch the fingers and hold it in this position. Again, that's an active sensation. Maybe you haven't spread your fingers that much in, today and you're really feeling that. And then we'll do circles with the wrists. Another thing that can um, cultivate mindfulness is becoming aware of the sounds the body creates. So the clicks and the pops, change directions, big circles. Ooh, I'm already feeling this in the wrists, all the muscles and the ligaments. Wonderful. And we'll do some piano playing, just waking up those fingers again. Maybe use a keyboard a lot, computer, and it's good to have that hand nice and mobile. All right, shake it out. Bringing our attention to our shoulders. Now big rolls, pinch the shoulders to the ears and then pull it back, pull it down and forward. 
And again, I was talking about the musicality of the body, the sounds. You might be feeling some clickety pops or hearing those. How's your breath? I'm seeing the clouds pass by in the sky. That makes me think of the wind moving them, which again brings me to the attention of my breath. So the external coming to internal. Big inhales. And let's change directions. I'm starting to get lost in those clouds. I gotta stay with you. Mm -hmm. So when we use our joints, it helps encourage the creation of synovial fluids, which is our lubricants in our joints. Sometimes these lubricants are sacs, the bursas can get inflamed. So please, if you need to make variations in your practice today, it's okay. For example, the next sequence is about raising arms above our head. And if that is too much for you, you come as high as you can go. I'll give examples. So we'll come to stillness. Inhale, let's bring our arms up to the sky, raise them up, stretch the fingers. And exhale, bring it back down. So maybe the variation is just coming as high as the shoulders. So inhale, try to work with an arrange that has no pain. And exhale, we're lowering it down. I'm feeling pretty good in my shoulders today, so I'm going to do full range. Inhale, reach it up. And exhale. Breathing through the nose unless you're congested. Inhale. If you want to bring this into a back bend, hands behind the shoulders, pull it back. And exhale, lower it down. <coughs> Inhale. So it's feeling like my throat is choking, which is a distraction. But I'm again using this to become mindful, present. Working with what we are given, yeah? Inhale, raise it as high as you can. If the hands are above the head, weave the fingers, push the palms to the sky. And let's stay here, working on expanding the ribs as much as, my, as I can. So what do I mean by expanding the ribs? Puffing up the lungs, so I'm feeling it expanding east, west, front and back, even upwards. And long exhales. Enjoy the breath. Let's have three more breaths here. Hey, maybe this is just getting too much for the shoulders. You could modify by bringing the hands down. If you're with me and feeling strong, keep them up. We're going to twist. Exhale, twist the whole body. And keep the breath deep. Let's see if we can do four long breaths here. Two more breaths. Inhale, come to back to center. Take the slouch out of your low back, lift up. And then we're gonna twist to the next side. I'm enjoying my breath. We've got three more deep breaths. Oh yeah, I'm feeling those shoulders. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, release the hands down to the same height of the shoulders and flex your fingers back like you're stopping something from either side, stretching the wrist. Keep the hands the same height as the shoulders and then bring the hands behind the shoulders. If you're reaching fatigue, take a break, come back to us. Otherwise, five breaths, a little bit of endurance practice today. Little bird fight. Come back to the breath. 
All right, let's cross our arms. I'm bringing one elbow underneath the other. And the options are either wrap and catch the hands. If you can't reach that, then reach for the shoulders. So I'll stay with the shoulder variation, but maybe you're holding the hands. Let's all lift our elbows. And then I want you to send the breath to the back of the heart, to this area, right between the shoulder blades. Deep, deep inhales. And now perhaps the breath, using the breath to feel or get a stretch. I'm hearing drills reminding me to breathe. Maybe you're hearing a telephone or television or a neighbor. Inhale, open the hands to cactus arms. I know I'm feeling it to the shoulders. Two breaths here. We're gonna change sides. Hopefully you can remember which one was underneath. Exhale, I'm changing sides. This one I'm gonna catch my hands. But if you're with the shoulders, that's okay. We're lifting the elbows, breathing here. Two more breaths. Inhale, let's open back up to cactus arms. Pull the elbows back, open your chest. And then exhale, drop the arms down. Catch the side of your chair. If you're right to the back, you may need to slide forward a bit. And if you're not to the edge of your mat, let's all slide forward on our chair. Bend your elbows and lift the chest. Lift the heart like a nice proud chest, opening the shoulders. And I'm breathing here. Four breaths. Again, I have the external distractions pulling me outwards and I'm boomeranging, boomeranging right back to feeling the body and the breath. And exhale, releasing, good. Let's release the arms, just let them hang and do little circles. And change directions. I know the shoulders, my shoulders are feeling sore, so we're gonna take a break for that and come back to it. Hands on your knees. Inhale, lift your low back, arch. We've done this position already, so arching the back. And then exhale around the spine, drop the head. We'll call this cat cow. So inhale, old cow, arch the back. And then exhale, scared cat, push the back of the heart back towards your chair. Inhale, lift up. And exhale around that spine. When you start to get the breath, more rapid, see if you can extend it, slow it down. Let's do three more. Last one. Inhale, lift the heart up. And then exhale around the spine. And we'll stay in this rounded spine, scared cat. Push the heart back, keep breathing. And inhale, coming back up. Very good, place the hands on your shoulders. Maybe hands on hips if you've, your shoulders are tired. We're going to start to stir the pot. So big inhale to stir the pot. Waking up the hips. Some of you might feel more mobile and can really push the circles. Play with the edge. We'll do two more. and then change directions. Mm -hmm. 
do about three more. If you find a challenging spot, you could slow it down. Coming to the back here, I'm feeling those abdominals kicking in. Oh yeah, all right. One more. Uh-huh. And coming back to center. So I talked about coming back to our arms. Yay, let's come back to our arms. Extend the arms straight, sit up tall. We'll do little circles. So maybe the size of a grapefruit. Connect with the breath. And let's start to make that grapefruit the size of a small pizza. I know, everyone wants pizza now, right? Let's make it the size of a car tire. And then a truck tire, even bigger. And then I want you to go as big as safe for your shoulder sockets. And you can slow it down, really reach up and back. Feel the belly pulling in as you pull the hands back. Nice. And we're gonna start to make it truck tires again, a little bit smaller. And then that pizza. The size of a grapefruit, get it smaller. And now tiny, tiny, tiny circles, as tiny as you can go. Change directions, tiny circles. And then that grapefruit. If you need to take a break or place the hands to the shoulders at any point, you can. And then the pizza. Oh, I want pizza again. And then tire. Bigger tire. And then as big as you can. Just a few more and then we've got a break. Let's come back to car tire. Pizza, grapefruit, and tiny, tiny little circles. Car alarms are a great one for breath reminder. And exhale, release. Whew. Feel the blood coming into the shoulders. Let's bring the shoulders up to the ears, squeeze it up, and exhale, release. We'll do a few more of those. Inhale, squeeze it up. And exhale, release. Inhale, squeeze it up. Exhale, release. Inhale, squeeze it up. And exhale, release. So let's catch our forearms behind our back. Maybe it's your wrist or fingers. And then wiggling your fingers down, so maybe catching the elbows. Again, this is behind your back. Draw the shoulders back, lift the heart, chin is parallel to the ground. Maybe you just heard an Aurora Pandola locally called Cornbird. Breathe. So bird songs are a great reminder to breathe. Exhale, release. Step your feet wider than the hips if they're not already. We'll do some sun salutations. Inhale, arms float up. Hands come as high as feels safe for your shoulders today. And then exhale, we're folding forward. If you need to walk the hands down your legs, you can, I'll demonstrate that next time. Inhale, make the spine as straight as you can. Hands could come to your shins. Reach out through the top of the head so you're looking between your toes. And then around the spine, drop the head. Inhale, we're coming all the way back up, reach the arms up. If it feels safe for a back bend, hands behind the shoulders. And exhale, hands to heart center. I'll do a modified, a little bit easier variation for this one. Inhale, arms come up, so maybe hands just as high as the shoulders. Exhale, fold forward, hands could walk down the legs. Inhale, straight spine. Look to the toes, exhale, fold forward, drop the head, using the arms. Inhale, we're gonna bring ourselves back up, walk the hands up the legs. 
And arms float up as high as you can go. And exhale, coming down. We'll do three more of that, really getting into the breath. Inhale, arms float up, reach the hands back. And exhale, folding forward. Belly's engaged to protect your low back. Inhale, long spine, look to the toes. And exhale, fold forward. Bend the knees, inhale, arms, chest come back up. Reach it back. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, maybe you can hear my breath through the nose. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, coming back up. Arms raised to the sky. Reaching for the sun. And exhale. I'll do an easier modification for this one. Inhale, hands could even come to your shoulders. Lift the heart. Exhale, folding forward. Walk the hands down the legs. Inhale, flat back, looking towards the toes. Keep the back flat, exhale, drop the head. Using the arms, inhale, bringing yourself back up. Arms come up, and exhale, hands come down, very good. Take a good inhale, exhale, draw one knee up towards your belly. You can catch it with your hands. Inhale, hold. And exhale, lower it down. Inhale, let's go to the next leg. Exhale, lift that leg. Inhale, hold. And exhale, lowering down. Inhale. Exhale, draw the knee in. Inhale, hold. And exhale, lower it down. Inhale. Exhale, lift. Inhale, hold. And exhale, drop it down. If this is easy, you can do it without the hands. Inhale, exhale, draw that knee up. Inhale, I'm holding. Exhale, drop it down. Inhale, exhale, lift the leg. Inhale, hold. Exhale, down. If you're feeling strong today, you could even try straightening the leg. Inhale, exhale, lift the leg. Inhale, hold. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale. Exhale, lift the leg. Keep the spine upright. Try not to lean back. Inhale, hold. Exhale, down. Let's do two more each side. Inhale. Exhale, extend. Inhale, hold. And exhale, down. Inhale. Exhale, extend. Inhale, hold. Exhale down, last one. Inhale, exhale, extend. Inhale, hold. Exhale down, one more. Inhale, exhale, lift. You might be staying with the first variation. Inhale, hold, and exhale down, very good. Inhale, bring the knees together. Exhale, open the legs. Inhale, knees together. There's a butterfly reminding me to breathe. Exhale, open the legs. Inhale, knees. Reversing trucks, good reminder to breathe. To become mindful, exhale. Keep it going. When we move with the breath in the yogic system, this is called the vinyasa. Let's keep the legs open wide, and you could even shift to see if you could get a little bit more openness. With the exhale, bring the arm to your side, lean to the side. Inhale, come to center. We're going to keep moving with the breath. Exhale, lean to the next side. Inhale, exhale. Another aspect of mindfulness in this practice. Inhale to center is exhale, 
of what comes up in the body. So I'm noticing, wow, my hips are feeling really tight today. What did I do or not do to make it feel that way? Or just noticing my hips feel tight today. So this is bringing me into the present, into the body. This next one, we're going to stay here, and then hand can either come to the head or extend the arm up and over. And let's breathe four breaths here. If it's okay on the neck, look up to the sky. If that's not okay on the neck, then you could look down. How deeply can you breathe when you're stretching? Inhale, we'll come back to center. Exhale, come to our next side. Inhale, hand can come to your head or extending the arm up and over. Feel that stretch. Inhale, bringing yourself back up. Let's do that again. Exhale, bring the hands to the thigh. Hand could stay on your hip or extending the arm up and over. If it feels safe, some of us are really quite mobile in the hip and the hand could reach down to the ground. If that seems crazy, then you're staying with that first variation. Look up to the sky if it's okay on the neck. Two more breaths. Inhale, let's bring ourselves back up. Place the hands to the thigh, other arm hand to head, or reaching up and over. This hand could stay on the thigh or maybe reaching down to the ground. And again, that's a pretty deep stretch for most. So if you can't make that there, stay with the forearm on the thigh. My belly just said hello. Sounds like a hawk is saying hello. And inhale, we'll bring ourselves back up. And we'll bring our legs back together. Sit up tall, we'll cross our ankle over the knee. If you need to grab the leg to get it there, that's okay. Sit up tall, make the spine long. And then lengthening the spine over. Feel the stretch in the hip, breathe. And inhale, bringing yourself back up. On cross the legs, changing sides. Sit up tall, spine is long, and move that straight spine forward. It might not be much, but you'll probably feel that stretch. Breathing, I'm hearing drilling. It's reminding me to breathe. And inhale, bringing yourself back up. We're going to turn to the side and step one foot back into a lunge. Hands on the knee to start with, push out through that heel. See if it leg can get straighter. And I'm breathing here. Now, maybe one hand can raise up. The other hand could come to the back of the chair or perhaps both arms up to the sky. And we're breathing here. I'm feeling the breeze. Breeze is reminding me to breathe. Three more breaths. Exhale, hands come back down. Very good. Let's drop that heel down and extend the arms out to what would be a warrior two. What often happens in dry season in Trinidad is as the day starts to heat up, the ground warms up and it starts to pull the strong winds across. So you might notice as the hills behind me start to brown, you have stronger winds in the video. And again, these externals are reminders for our internal. Three more breaths in warrior two. We're going to try a dancing warrior. So that front hand on the bent knee reaches up and back. The other hand can rest on the leg or maybe even grab the back of the head if that's 
or your speed. If you can't breathe deeply, maybe back off to a place where the breath can be accessed. And if you're able to breathe deeply in a deep stretch, stay there. Inhale, we'll come back to warrior two. And exhale, we're gonna change sides. So I'll bring my feet together and switch over to the next side. I'm stepping that leg back. The back heel is lifted and I'm pushing out through that heel to try to straighten the leg, energize that leg. Hands could stay on your knee for this sequence or lift one arm or two. You could use the back of the chair for support or extend the arms up. If you do have armrests on your chair, you, this might be a little challenging. Three more breaths here. I notice when my arms are extended, I can feel my breath more, moving my rib cage and my clothes. I'm gonna drop that back heel down, pivot the foot down and extend the arms to our warrior two. And if you're fairly able in the legs, the legs are working here to the point where you would almost lift yourself off of the chair. We're not gonna go there, but feeling that potential. All of us can engage our legs here to get a little bit more strengthening in our legs. We'll turn the palm up of the, the arm that's in front of the bent knee and then reach that back. And as I'm looking up, I see a black hawk and I boomerang that back into the sensation of my breath. You can extend the arm or cradle the skull. Let's bring ourselves back up. Good work, everyone. We'll step our feet together and bring ourselves to face forward. So talking about working the legs, let's do a few bum lifts. So we bring our chest forward, push with the feet and lift your bum. And then as we come down, see if you can hover close to the chair and exhale, come back up. If this is way beyond your capability, a nice variation could be you're staying on the chair and using the arms and pushing with the leg, just activating the legs. If you're able to keep floating, let's do two more, get close to the ground, or the, the ground, your chair, which connects you to the ground. And one more time, get close, hover and hold for two, three, and lower yourself down. Very good. Mm -hmm. Inhale, arms float up, catching the hands. If that's not your speed, the hands on the shoulder. Exhale, we're leaning to one side. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, leaning to the next side. I'll demonstrate the shoulder variation. Inhale, coming back up. And exhale, release the hands down. Let's look at a twist. So inhale, sit up tall, and then exhale, twist as much as you ha can. Hand could come to your knee or your thigh or your armrest or the back of the chair. Inhale, let's bring ourselves up. Make the spine long. Exhale, look as much as you can behind you. So we're gonna focus on head movement. Inhale, look forward, keep the body as it is, just moving the head. And then exhale, looking behind us. Inhale, looking forward, feeling that breeze, reminding me to breathe, exhale. Let's try two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, let's twist to the next side. Hands could stay on the knee or the leg or the armrest, or maybe reaching to the back of the chair. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, look behind you. 
Inhale, looking forward. Exhale, look behind you. Inhale, looking forward. Let's do about three more of those. Exhale. Inhale, looking forward. Exhale. Inhale, looking forward. One more. Exhale. And inhale, looking forward. Nice. Let's come back to center, stretching a leg. We'll extend one leg straight. I'll show you the side profile, just so you can see what's going on. And you can shift to the edge of your chair. Straighten the leg as much as you can. Inhale, sit up tall. If you're not on the edge of the chair, you might find it digging into you. So if you need to slide forward a bit more, that's okay. So sitting up nice and tall, and then exhale. I'm walking my hand down the leg. Some of us could touch the feet. Some of us could get hands to the ground. It's not a competition. It's about working with what your body is capable of doing. And I'm breathing here, feeling the stretch. Release the tension of the head. You can round the spine. And inhale, bringing yourself all the way back up. I'm going to change sides, so I'm extending the next leg. Sit up nice and tall. And exhale, walking the hands down the leg. I'm going to keep my hand on the leg for this side. Take a big inhale. And exhale, make the spine soft and round. Drop the head. And inhale, bringing yourself back up. Coming back to center, if you're not in the center. Let's look at some digestive postures. So we'll bring, this is my right side, if you know your right side. Squeeze your right knee in towards your belly and hug that. And I want to switch up the breath here. I want to breathe more into my belly. So as I'm breathing, the belly puffs out. And exhale. Just about three good belly breaths here. Usually we're more, more focusing on lung expansion, but I want you to massage your digestive organs here. Two more belly breaths. Very good. And exhale, we'll drop that foot back down changing sides. So this is my left leg. If you've done the side already, that's okay. Hug the knee, squeeze it in towards your belly, and then breathe as much as you can. If you've got a larger belly and it's hard to bring it up, that's okay. You're stopping where you are just to create some opposition between the belly and your thigh. And about three more good belly breaths here. You might feel this as a little massage. Very good. Exhale, release. Let's take that first leg, it doesn't matter what leg actually, and let it fall out to the side. This is half butterfly pose. We can push the knee down to get a bit of a stretch in our hip flexor here. You can stay here if it feels wobbly or that you might fall over, or start to fold forward. It might feel quite awkward in your body or challenging. Again, this could be used as a point of mindfulness or a reminder for the breath. Two more breaths. Inhale, bringing yourself back up. We'll switch legs, bring that foot up on the chair, knee falls out to the side. Sit up tall. And exhale, fold forward. Sometimes if our knees are compromised, a deep flexion like this is just too much for the knee. So you could leave this out. You can leave out any of the postures if they 
If you're truly mindful and your body is saying, mm -mm, not today, then you leave it out. One more deep inhale, exhale. And inhale, bringing yourself back up. So let's look at, I'll show you the profile for this again, some extensions at the knee. So holding onto the chair, big inhale, exhale, extending both legs. Inhale, bend the knee. Exhale, extend the legs. Inhale, bend the knee. Two more. Exhale, I'm extending the leg. Ooh, what a breeze. Inhale, bend the knees. Look at all the leaves. External to internal. Inhale, extend. And we're gonna hold it here. Point your toes. Push out through the heels. Point the toes. Push out through your heels. And let's do that a few more times, yes? All right. Let's do some circles with the feet. And change directions. Let's do it one more time. Change directions, first way. And change directions again. Secretly, we're doing some ab work right now. I don't know if you noticed. And exhale, lower those legs back down. Good. Let's stretch the hips again. We were going to repeat this posture, pigeon posture. Place the ankle on your knee. Sit up tall. One of the ways to protect the knee is by pushing through the heels, pulling the toes back. I'm sitting up as straight as I can with my spine. And then exhale, folding forward. Hands could stay on the legs. If it's there for you, you could reach the hands down, maybe hands to the ground. Nice stretch for the hips. Stay here. I'm bird again reminding me to breathe. Inhale, bringing yourself back up, and we'll change sides. Inhale, straight spine. Exhale, hinge at the hips. Hands could stay here, maybe walk the hands down the legs. One side is often tighter than the other. Four more breaths. bringing yourself back up. Let's sit up nice and tall. Place the hands to the back of the head. Inhale, pull the elbows back, lift the chest, finding a back bend. Lift the chin a little bit, but not cranking it back too far. And then exhale, try to squeeze your elbows together, drop the chin towards your neck. Inhale, raise the elbows up and back, pull them back. And exhale, touch the elbows. Inhale, open the elbows. And when I say touch the elbows, that may be a dream that you could do that. Maybe the elbows don't go anywhere close to touching. Inhale, we're working with what our body has, yeah? And exhale. We've got one more. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, releasing the hands. Posture is so important for our spine. Let's look at the neck. So I'm showing you the profile so you can see easier. Place the finger to your chin and pulling the chin back here like you're slotting a drawer into a shelf, yeah? And release. I'm pulling it back without dropping or lifting the chin, creating some double chins. And release, or if you're lucky, triple, quadruple chins. Pull it back. And release. This hand is a guide, so if you've figured out the movement and don't need it there, you can release. Let's do four more. I'm pulling the head back. 
How many chins do I have? I think I got about four, yeah? And release, pull it back. And release, pull it back. And release, we got one more. Pull it back. And release, nice, I'm placing the hands to the forehead pushing the head forward. So I'm activating the front neck muscles. And release, we'll do two more. Push. And release, one more. Push, I'm not using all my strength, maybe 50, 60%. And release, let's try some more strength. And place the hand to the side of the head. I'm pushing the hand into the head as the head pushes into the hand. And release, two more of those. Push. And release. And push. And release. Next side. Push into the hand. And release. Engage. And release, last one. Engage, and release. Let's stretch out the neck. So I'm reaching around with one hand to the other side of the head, and then dropping it towards that lifted arm. Drop the ear towards the shoulder. If you want more of a stretch, take that other arm and hold the side of the chair. Drop the shoulder down. And we're breathing. Don't yank, just use the weight of the arm and the head to stretch. Three more breaths. Inhale, come back to center. Let's change sides. Drop the ear to the next side. Hand reaches over to the other side of the head and you're not pulling but using the weight of the arm. The other hand can pull down on the chair creating traction for the shoulder. Nice, one more breath. Inhale, come back to center. Weave the fingers, place the hands behind the back of the head. Drop your chin towards the neck. We're not pulling. Just stretching the back of the neck. Two more breaths. And inhale, bringing yourself back up. Slide to the edge of your chair if you're not there and then bring the hands back as far as you can, maybe even to the back of the chair. And we're opening the chest again, shoulders back. So often the shoulders get forward and we hunch forward. I know I have to check my posture a lot as I'm on the computer. Five breaths here. And exhale, release, roll out the shoulders. Do some more shoulder chest openers. You're gonna catch your hands behind your back, holding the hands behind your back. And then bring the hands over to one side. Some of us could even sneak the knuckles out to the edge of our body. But if it's just to the side, that's fine. That side that the hands are, lean the head to the next side. Then breathe here. Three more breaths. Another aspect of mindfulness is how does it feel? So right now it's feeling really good. I feel like I could stay here forever right now. 
Well, we must continue. And he'll come back to center, change sides. And my hand is over to the next side, and I drop my ear away from the hand. Feeling quite different on this side. And inhale, bringing yourself back up. Revisiting a twist. Exhale, twisting to one side, holding the back of the chair. This time we'll keep the gaze behind us and see if you can look back as much as you can. I'm seeing the beautiful hills behind me, which is reminding me to come back to my body and my breath. Inhale, coming back to center and twist to the next side. Inhale, coming back to center. Closing our practice today with some breath work and meditation. This breath is in through the nose. You're gonna fill your belly, your lungs to full capacity. And at the top of the inhale, magically you can sniff in a little extra, a little. And then we're gonna open our mouth and breathe out as long as we can with a bit of a whooshing sound. So I'll guide you through that exhale. Breathe in through the nose, fill your belly, fill your lungs, fill it all the way up. When you come to the top, sniff in extra and then let it out through the mouth. <sighs> Inhale through the nose, fill the belly. Maybe you can breathe in deeper. Fill the lungs full capacity. At the top, sniff an extra and let it out. One more time, inhale, fill the belly, the low lungs, upper lungs. At the top, sniff an extra. And then open the mouth, let it out. Breathe in and out through the nose gently. Make the spine long. Bring the head back so the spine, our head is in line with the spine. Check in with the external. Hear the, hear the sounds. Use that to come back to check in with the internal. Even an objective observance of the thoughts, watching the thoughts come and go. Just be an observer. Let the breath be soft, shoulders relaxed, faces relaxed. Relaxing the tongue and the jaw. If you have sounds around you, again, use this to boomerang to become aware.
another two minutes here, two more minutes. If you're off daydreaming, come back to the mindfulness, being present. With the eyes closed, bringing your hands to a prayer position. We'll close our practice with three juicy breaths to the heart. Exhale. Inhale, fill your heart full capacity. And exhale, send that out. Inhale, fill the heart. And exhale. Inhale, fill the heart. And exhale. Slowly open the eyes. Thank you for joining me in practice today. I hope you found some benefit. Namaste.